welcome back to episode 14 of Tech Talk. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ryan. Today we're going to continue our conversation of Pixel Buds Pro 2 and AirPods Pro 2. Yes. I ordered the Pixel Buds Pro 2 about a month ago and it just arrived. There they were and you got this peony color. Yeah. They just arrived yesterday. I filmed an unboxing. I tried it out preliminarily and I have some thoughts. Great. And I was able to try it out a little bit as well. It took a long time for the Pixel Buds Pro 2 to get here. And in the meantime, Apple released AirPods yeah. Pro 2. Yeah. And I was able to order this on Amazon at a discounted price. And I've used the AirPods Pro 2 for a little while. And I got to listen to both of them. And I have to admit, I was pretty impressed with the AirPods Pro 2. <laughs> Well, we're familiar with the AirPods, both of us, right? Mm -hmm. So I've owned two pairs of AirPods before, probably the first generation and the third generation. Not the Pro version, though. This is my first time owning a pair of Pro version AirPods. And the regular AirPods never fit my ears very well. Yeah, that's always been a concern of yours. Yeah, without this silicon tip, it would just slip out. And especially with the glossy finish, of the AirPods and this case, it's really prone to be lost mm -hmm. and it will always slip out during my workout. Yeah. The reason why of having smaller headphones in my mind is to wear them when you're doing acute exercises. It just never worked for me. My $30 Amazon earbuds work better than <laughs> AirPods, so I hated them. Yeah. But hopefully these AirPods Pro 2 will change your tune. I didn't intend to purchase them especially after ordering the Pixel Buds Pro 2. Those were the headphones I wanted to use. Yeah. But I was curious about some of the new features, like conversation awareness, the AirPods automatically pause when you speak, and active noise canceling. I did not have any other headphones aside from my big headsets that can do active noise canceling. Yeah, and I have to admit, as a Bose guy, I was amazed by the fact that the earbuds of the Bose could have this incredible noise canceling. When I put them on, I felt I was transported into another world. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a Bose guy. So uh, what kind of headphones have you been using? Unfortunately, I lost my Bose. So now you just have no headphones. Well, now I have the big headphones, Bose Q45 noise canceling ones. Oh, the big headset. Yeah, the big headset over your head. and. And I'm using some of your old AirPods. You took my AirPods? Yeah. Okay. At first I thought cannoli ate them, but it turned out she didn't eat them. And so now I have them. Yeah. So just allow me to go on a little bit of a tangent. I don't believe the AirPods are for you. I remember you left them in your pockets and then they were lost in the laundry. But why don't you share a little bit of your experience on whether you can still use the AirPods after you put them through the laundry? I remember that now, and that was a surprise, a pleasant surprise, that even after going through the laundry and the dryer, they were still able to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I remember you just have one of the two for the longest time because you lost the other one. Yeah, unfortunately, the air buds and everything is not for me. Yeah. I would say it's also stressful for me to keep track of these AirPods. Yeah. Especially with the glossy finish of both the AirPods and the case. It's just so slippery and they just look so unremarkable. Hmm. How am I supposed to keep track of them? Yeah. Yeah, I much prefer my AirPods Max. Can't lose those. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was intrigued by some of the new features such as conducting hearing tests, and it is a FDA approved first over-the-counter hearing aid software. Yeah, that's kind of fascinating. AirPods Pro 2 now is an over-the-counter hearing aid mm -hmm. for people with mild to moderate hearing loss. Wow. Yeah, so I was very intrigued by this feature and I certainly want to take a hearing test myself. I've always suspected that I have some form of hearing loss because every time I go to Zumba, I get these noise notification on my Apple Watch saying your environment is too loud. Wow, and you couldn't even tell. Yeah, and I could not, no, I could tell. I know it's really loud, but I couldn't leave. <laughs> I could not leave 
the instructors right there. I just have to go through the entire class. I see. All right. So, and from my experience, I'm always saying things and you don't respond. And then I just figure you're ignoring me. And then later on you say, oh, I just didn't hear you. I mean, if I'm to believe that you really are not ignoring me, then I would believe that you have hearing issues. Can I just clarify? Yes. Before we go home? I wasn't listening to you. Is this for the podcast? <laughs> 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 yeah, but anyway, so I know I, I expect some form of hearing loss in myself. So I was curious. But how many pairs of headphones do one really need? I certainly don't need Pixel Buds Pro 2, AirPods Pro 2, and my perfectly perfect AirPods Max. My $30 Amazon headset and this free Beats headphones I have. I don't need all of them. No, you don't. Exactly. But I do have my favorites. Let's talk about it. So I did a hearing test and it revealed that I have mild hearing loss in the lower decibel range. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Then I tried to set up my AirPods Pro 2 to compensate for those mild hearing loss. And from my perspective, what it did is to make the sound louder. Yeah, but maybe what you don't realize is that it's only making the sound that you don't hear well all the time louder. So it actually was normal for the very first time. That's something to think about. So you perceived it as louder, but the reality is because it actually amplified what you've been missing out on your whole life. Well, I guess we'll never know because I decided I don't like how it sounded. So you so, got rid of it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but I found an expert Ooh. that made a comprehensive video. So this guy called Hearing Tracker. Yeah, check him out. He is an audiologist and he's an expert in this. He compared medical grade hearing tests with hearing tests conducted through AirPods Pro. He actually said that AirPods Pro said that he has mild hearing loss, kind of similar to my result. But the medical grade test shows that he has no hearing loss. Mm. And it's possible that the AirPods Pro can't create a perfect seal. You can't hear those really small frequency of sound. It have leaked through the air gap. But he's very supportive of using AirPods as an over-the-counter hearing aid because there's also social aspect to consider. Now you don't need to wear a medical looking hearing aid. You can wear a pair of headphones, kind of like a lot of other people. Yeah. But then you kind of look rude just wearing a headphone when you shouldn't be, when you quote unquote yeah, shouldn't I be. See. So it's complicated. From that perspective, I'm kind of like, how much is this hearing aid feature really relevant to me? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like another one of these they use to try to sell it. Yeah, as you... more advanced than any other feature. And getting the FDA approval is a big deal because we learned, we'll talk about it later, but we learned from the uh, Google product is that they're not even going to be accepted in the U.S. for that uh, loss, of loss of pulse detection, right? Yeah. So when things aren't accepted by the FBA, then they can only be rolled out in different countries. So this one, they waited until it was ready, and now they can make their claims. In this news released by the FDA, they touched upon there's more than 30 million American adults report some degree of hearing loss. So AirPods could be really helpful because from what I'm hearing is the professional hearing aid could be over a thousand eight hundred dollars yeah AirPods, or you, you need a prescription or something maybe i i'm not familiar with that but it costs way less it actually costs tenth of that price yeah so <laughs> this is where i order the apple airpods pro 2. i order it from amazon because it even though it just got released it's already 24 percent off yep they buy in bulk <laughs> <laughs> so at $189, you can have a pair of this headset that can be used as an over-the-counter hearing aid and conduct hearing tests. The only thing I was disappointed with is you can't customize the case. <laughs> and my previous AirPods, since you took them, you will know I have customization. I'm yeah. Everybody owns Apple product. I don't want to get it mixed up. So yeah. I oftentimes engrave stuff on my Apple product, but 
You can't do that now that you bought it from Amazon. Yeah, and I was so disappointed because I have really cute gem emoji or whatever. It represent myself, and I was really looking forward to that、yeah. engraved right here. But now I just have this plain. But it's worth. It's potentially worth saving twenty five percent in、yeah. the long run. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you get it from Apple, you have to pay the full price. Yep, two hundred forty nine dollars. Speaking of price, how much does the Pixel cost? So again, I ordered my Google Pixel Buds Pro two from the Google store. And that's because you had gotten some Google money back. Yeah, in the deal when you purchase the phone, I got thirty dollars off Google Store credit, but they also give you back here on Amazon.、Mm. When you purchase this, you get thirty dollars Amazon gift card. I see. So you can actually buy whatever you want. You don't have to buy from Google Store with this gift card. Yeah. So with that in mind, it's a hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah. And if you are a Google One member, you get ten percent off.、Mm. So that's additional twenty some dollar off. It's really similarly priced. Yeah. After the discount. After all the different deals and discounts and wheeling and dealing. Exactly. All right. So we've talked a lot about the AirPods, and I've just received the Pixel Buds Pro Two. We should compare a little bit from a design perspective. I am so bored. With Apple,、mm -hmm. I am bored.、Yeah. Everything looks the same year after. It's reliably working. Yeah, it works perfectly. Apple's known to have perfection, but I am bored with yeah, this design. Yeah, you're bored with these little things sticking out of your ears. I get no excitement looking at it. Yeah, and I don't get excitement using it. I was galvanized looking <laughs> at this product. Yeah, and it's new, and I like this little interface that they have. Yeah, it is so cute.、Mm -hmm. It has this G logo. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. I think that is so cool. So from a design perspective, I think Google wins. From an audio quality perspective. I don't have that kind of taste. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to tell. Now I can tell. I listened to all three. My Bose. These Google and the Apple, I personally think that the Bose outperforms them, but it is also a three hundred and twenty dollar headphones. So the ones that I had, that are even though they're small little Air Buds or whatever, they're still like over three hundred bucks. So you know you're paying that extra hundred and twenty dollars for that increased noise cancellation. I definitely do not doubt you because、yeah. you know I've never purchased a car without the Bose. Yes, those are your speaker. <laughs> those are your favorite. The car is not drivable without the Bose speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I felt that the sound quality in both of these were really good. So it's all about what they look like to you. Not so fast. Both of these little earbuds have active noise cancellation,、mm. so you've tested out. What do you think? Yeah, I agree that the AirPods Pro had a little bit better noise cancellation. Yeah, and、so、maybe it creates a better seal and everything like that. However, we were in an abnormally loud situation, and so it's possible that. Under normal conditions, where there's just mild background noises, it wouldn't be detectable. However, we were at a hustling and bustling IHOP, <laughs> and, you know, at peak hours, and so it was really quite loud in there. Let's think about scenarios I need noise cancellation for. Yeah. So number one, when I am working on my computer and I have a colleague sitting next to me, just go on and on in a conversation, that distracts me. Yeah. I put my big AirPods Max on,、yeah. and I cancel them the house. Yeah, you cancel it. <laughs> yeah, then I hear these murmuring sounds without internalizing their conversation, so、exactly. that I can focus. And additionally, when I am watching Netflix late at night, I need to drown out the fan, the and snoring, and yours and Canoli snoring. Yeah, mostly Canoli. I can attest that the Pixel Buds Pro Two works fine for that purpose. Good, but I also agree with you. The AirPods Pro Two has a noticeably better noise cancellation. Yeah, but it has this crazy feature in it, which you were describing earlier, where it's disrupting you. Yeah, exactly. So it has this conversation awareness feature. 
Another scenario where I need these headphones with noise cancellation is when I am editing our podcast and you're over there watching SWAT. Yes. So anytime the TV was like, two, two, give me two. Yeah, making loud noises. My cancellation goes away. <laughs> <laughs> or if you start speaking, yeah. it automatically goes away. Now I can see this being extremely valuable if you're in a working environment where you need to be disrupted and somebody comes up to you, starts talking, and then normally you have to tap your ears and pull it out of your ear. Now you can just start speaking and all of a sudden you'll be able to hear them completely. Yeah. So that is useful. However, it can be more annoying than useful in a lot of situations until you get used to it and figure out how to work with it. Yeah. That conversation awareness feature though could be turned off, so that's not bad. Yeah, that's important. Now, typically when I wear the earbuds, I always just wear in one ear anyway. So that way I have the other ear accessible. But this would allow me to wear in both ears and still have access if people are trying to get my attention. What about your Bose? Does it have great noise cancellation? Yeah, the Bose has extremely good noise cancellation. My only qualm with them is that they only allow me to have the right ear only. Everything is activated from the right ear. Oh. And so if I have the right ear charging, I can't listen with the left ear. And this has been a real problem with me because I like sleeping with them sometimes at night. But if I'm laying on one side of the, I can only lay on my left side because I can only have the earbud in on my right ear. I think that is not very nice. No. Because there are people that are left-handed. Exactly. What do you expect? Wrap their arm around their head and try to reach? Yeah, I know. That's not very nice. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, it's, it's okay to have both ears in, but you have to have the right ear in as well. When you take the right ear out, it just stops playing automatically. And so I think maybe that's their way of trying to set things up to where you could pause it and everything and listen to other people. Sometimes, honestly, my right ear gets tired of having a headphone in it and mm -hmm. I want to just have it yeah. in the left ear. It doesn't allow that. But we did a test with those things and it allows you the, to have one or the other. Yeah, I think both Pixel Buds Pro 2 and AirPods Pro 2 fix that issue you exactly. said. Yeah, they're nicer now. Yeah. About the active noise cancellation, I was looking at these design and thinking about it. And I wonder if the AirPods Pro 2 just inherently has the design to provide a better noise cancellation than the Pixel Buds. Yeah, it's possible. How does active noise cancellation work? So we're on Wikipedia. Yeah. Active noise control, also known as noise cancellation, is a method for reducing unwanted sound by the addition of a second sound specifically designed to cancel the first. Hmm. Technology is also used in road vehicles, mobile telephones, earbuds, and headphones. It's a little bit of an external speaker that emit sound waves to cancel out the noise, where you have this speaker directly pointed to your ear canal, yeah. playing the sound that you want to play. I wonder if it's just a matter of design for Google to improve. Because Pixel Buds Pro 2 is supposed to have double the noise cancellation than Pixel Buds Pro first generation. Mm -hmm. And I went on YouTube and I did a little research from this guy, <laughs> Aaron X Loud and Wireless, I believe. And he did a great service comparing all of these earbuds. Yeah. Pixel Buds, AirPods, Sony, Bose, Samsung. Like he would blow this fan in his face, <laughs> create the wind sound, yeah, and like all you the scenarios imagine. you can possibly imagine. Yeah, so basically he showed me that the Pixel Buds Pro 2 does not have double the noise cancellation than the first generation. In fact, it may be a little worse than the first one in certain aspects, such as when you're wearing them on a phone call and stuff yeah. like that. So they overstated it a little bit. Yeah. AirPods Pro 2 also claimed to have double the noise cancellation than previous generation, but I didn't have the Pro version before. <laughs> it's pretty good here. Yeah. So if you're in the market to purchase one of these earbuds, which one would you choose? I think the biggest consideration is what ecosystem are you in? 
If you are a serial Apple user like me, who have iPhone, iPad, MacBook, picking AirPods Pro 2 is going to be more convenient when I'm switching between devices. Yeah. The and pairing is automatic. I mm -hmm. don't need to actually do the pairing. I know we just switch between devices. Yeah, I also saw they have easy access to Siri. Yeah, they have easy access to Siri. If you have an Android, or if you have the new Pixel 9 Pro, yeah, yes. obviously Pixel Buzz is going to be easy. It's compatible with Gemini. And the pairing is also somewhat automatic. Like your phone is going to sense that the Pixel Buzz is near. Yeah, and it's going to log and in, connect into it. Yeah, you don't actually need to press the back button on the case. But I'm here to tell you that that's not really that big of a deal. The biggest hurdle is if you like to really customize your hearing experience and you bought a Pixel Buzz Pro 2, the Pixel Buzz app only exists in Google Play Store. Mm. You can't download that with On an iPhone. Apple. Yeah. So if you don't have any Android product, you can't customize your hearing experience of the Pixel Buzz and vice versa. Same as AirPods. All of these wonderful adjustable features are manipulable from an iPhone. Only. Yeah. What I have found is that the default setting is pretty good with everything. I haven't really need to customize it too much. That's good. I paired up my Pixel Buzz with my iPad. <laughs> oh yeah, can you do two different devices at the same time? Yes, Pixel Buzz, you can do two devices. So I have it paired to my Pixel 9 Pro and my iPad Pro. Nice. And I can switch seamlessly. I have to do a step of active pairing to the iPad, but yeah. after that, it's seamless. Yeah. And in fact, the biggest factor for me is comfort. Mm. I definitely prefer the Pixel Buzz Pro much more. You like to wear them. Yeah, they're comfortable. I'm much less aware of their existence in my ear. Yeah, I felt the same way yeah, because the there isn't anything dangling down. Yeah, the AirPods, I can't say the same. Like yeah. I can just feel them in my ear. I'm not happy about <laughs> But everybody's ear is different. Yeah. For me, the Pixel Buzz Pro 2 is more comfortable. And when I'm late at night watching Netflix on my iPad, I want these in my ear and I can toss and turn. Yeah. And they don't bother they me. They don't bother you at all. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So it seems like you've outlined some really good pros and cons for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think the ecosystem is definitely a big hurdle, but it's not as big of a hurdle as picking a smart watch. Yes. I think you're just very much locked down. If you have um, if you have a Samsung, you need a Samsung watch. Yeah, exactly. If you have an iPhone, you need an Apple watch, but it's not quite the same case for the headphones. Headphones, you, you might be able to mix and match. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And that was the case with the Bose. So with the Bose, I also have to download apps, but I'm sure they've made it so that you can download them from either Apple Store yeah. or Google Play. I bet Bose have done a good job with that. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're not competing against each other. <laughs> Bose is not competing with Google or Apple. They're trying to integrate into them. All right, so we are at the end of September and October is coming. Yes. And October is famous for tech releases. Techtober, they call it. Exactly. So we have a little special something prepared. And let's roll the trailer. Yes. <laughs> Techtober is here. And we're breaking down the biggest stories. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ryan. And, and this, this is, is Tech, Tech Talk. Talk. We're so excited to kick off our special Techtober series of Tech Talk. And if you love all things tech, you're in the right place. We'll be covering the latest innovations, the biggest controversies, and everything in between. Plus a little golf, nature, and puppy love on the side. Subscribe now and join the conversation. Was that trailer exciting? Yes. Now I'm really ready for October. I wasn't ready for the summer to disappear. <laughs> <laughs>
That is all for today. Yes. Thank you guys so much for listening. Any final thoughts? No, I'm, I'm looking forward to what October has to offer and we'll be excited to share any new updates with you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance.